Hi Sag, this is going to be your love message for the 15th through the 18th of January. It's good primarily for Sun, Rising, Moon, Venus, or Mercury placement of Sagittarius and Tropical Astrology. As always, please keep in mind, this is a general message. It's not a personal reading, so don't try to make this story fit if it's not your story, okay? You can check your other placements on my other channel called Soma Chandra Tarot, where I read for all 12 zodiac signs. If you're new, welcome to Soma Chandra Libra. I just do love messages for Libra and Sagittarius on this channel. Read for Aries to Pisces on my other channel channel Soma Chandra Tarot. Right now it's Soma Chandra Sagittarius. All right, let's get into it. This is love, okay? Next four days. Friendship. This friendship is leading to more decision. It's time for you to make a decision about this relationship at the bottom of the Messages of Love Oracle deck. I have integrity. Does this situation align with your values and your morals? No offense, Sag, but you're not looking too moral over here. I think you guys are actually playing a little bit of a game. I think it's. I think you're trying to be strategic to see if you can get something to happen. Um, doesn't mean that you don't have morals or values, but what I'm picking up on is you're being asked, and I have two kings on the table. So I think we've got one king coming in, making an offer and fighting for you, but you might be wanting to be with someone else, but you're still connected to this person. So you're going to have to ask yourself what situation lines up best with what you value in life and what your moral standards are. There's a decision you have to make and there's a friendship that could be leading to more. Yeah. So the reason for the reading or a person coming towards you sees themselves as the Ace of Pentacles. The way they feel is the Four of Wands. They see you as the Nine of Swords or and you're seeing yourself that, that way as well. This is your advice. I'll show you that in a minute. What you need to know is the Page of Swords. Someone wonders where you're going, what you're doing. They wonder who you're talking to. There's this fear of promiscuity in particular. But then the final outcome was the Ace of Cups. Oh my, and I've got two kings. I was like, oh shit, Sag, what have you gotten yourself into? Two of Pentacles is at the bottom of the deck. What do I do? Sneaking around, someone's being indulgent. Hmm. Let me look at the bottom of my clarification deck real quick, because here's the Seven of Swords again. Emotionally reevaluating with the Four of Cups. Two of Pentacles, what do I do? The Empress, the Fool, the Sun, the Three of Cups. Someone's trying to have a baby. Empress fool in the sun. Someone's trying to get pregnant. Someone wants to have a baby. You may be in a third party situation, trying to be strong, trying to be calm. You're stuck. I see someone really wants to have a new beginning and wants to have a lot of fertile ground. But when I get the empress, the fool in the sun, someone wants to get pregnant or have a baby. This Someone maybe wants to have a baby with you or you want to have a baby. But... You're going to sneak off and think about what you want. What I'm picking up on is that you've gotten yourself into a third party situation and now you've got to figure and you're, you're lying, you're hiding it. You may have a reason to, you could be married to this person or maybe um, like something's happened and there's not commitment at this time. So you're maybe dating someone new, but now they want to up the ante in the relationship. And now you've got to decide it's something like that. So a person in your energy sees themselves as the Ace of Pentacles. They want to hand you the seed that you can plant, plant that will manifest into abundance. They may want to propose or they like, they want to give something to you here. They want it to actually go somewhere. Clarifying this is the Page of Swords, the Four of Wands and the King of Wands. You could be dealing with another Sag. Aries Leo Sagittarius. It's a very fiery person. I think they are waiting for an answer. Page of Swords, they want to know what you're going to say. Four of Wands, they may want to move in with you. They want to be with you. They want to know when the two of you can be together. This is a very passionate person. This person also has an arrogance to them as well, though. They seem to want to make an offer here to you because the way they feel about you is the four of wands. They may be saying, when can we get together? When do you want to move in together? Clarifying this, though, is the five of swords, the four of pentacles and the tower. This person's about to burst. I sense that this person will fight for you. They have a possessive side. They're waiting for something to happen. They want something to happen here with the tower. Yeah. They're seeing you as the Nine of Swords. This is stressful. I feel like this is your energy. This is stressful. Clarifying this, though, is the Hierophant, the Ten of Wands, and the Wheel of Fortune. Now, some of you, this is a third-party situation. 
and you're married and you're not happily married either. You may have you may have children, you may have a lot of emotional stability. This might have been a marriage that your family really approved of and society approved of. You could live with family as well, a strong sense of obligation to where you're from, what you're doing. Now this you could be the king of wands here and this person wants something here with you, but they want something to change and family is stressing you out. With the Wheel of Fortune, it's like anything is possible at this point. Where is this going to go? They wonder what cycles you're going to play out here. It looks like extended family or marriage is involved, possibly. What you need to know is the Page of Swords. Someone is spying and watching. Clarifying this is the Devil, the High Priestess, and the Eight of Wands. This is some hot little slut or ticket that we chase. <laughs> They want to know if you're chasing someone else, if you're being promiscuous, who you're talking to. You may feel that way about them. I sense that maybe you were both unfaithful to each other at one point, possibly. If you weren't unfaithful, you weren't, okay? But someone is fearful of promiscuity here off of the other person. Messages, who are they talking to secretly? When I get the high priestess and the devil, that's like a little secret relationship that's fueled by passion. It's a temptation. Are they being tempted? Everybody wants to get to the bottom of that. They want to get to the bottom of that, or you do. I think that someone suspects an infidelity off of the other person for sure. Or like if you've delayed getting back to them, it is starting to stress them out. But then we have the ace of cups. Clarifying the Ace of Cups is the Seven of Pentacles standing here thinking about it, the Two of Wands, trying to pick a path to move forward, the one that has the most growth potential, and the King of Cups. Well, we have two kings. There may be a potential to start a new relationship with a water sign or someone that's more emotional, more loving, or it's just a Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, but you aren't sure about it. You're standing here thinking about it with the Seven of Pentacles, and it's like, what path do I choose? Because there's a stag here. Which one of these men is the stag or the elk or the emperor? What do we do here? Yeah. What this person has to say to you, Sagittarius, is I want to feel that way again. Do I still have a chance? I watch your social media. I think they just keep tabs on you and they wish that they could go back. I wish we could go back. Their, their tarot further out with a third deck is the Nine of Swords. They're stressed out. The Five of Cups, they're disappointed. And they're also mad, the King of Wands. How dare you not want me? He looks so arrogant in this deck. <laughs> it's like, well, fine. I'll keep myself available on the market too. They're stressed out. They want an answer. They're disappointed. But then at the same time, he's like, hmm, I'm not getting the Five of Cups or the King of Cups over here. I'm getting this anger coming off of this King of Wands or towards this King of Wands. Like he's mad, stressed out, disappointed. Now, I love the King of Wands too, most of the time. Maybe he has the right to be a little arrogant. But this person wishes that they could go back. They're mad. They may also be mad at themselves. Your card, Sagittarius, I clarified you a little bit. You broke my heart. I don't want to let you go. You came closer than anyone, but I hid who I really am from you. I still feel the pain. The timing wasn't right for us. I wish I could take back my words. Okay. Might have been a problem with timing. There's still pain between the two of you. You feel broken hearted and you, it's like, they broke your heart, but you don't want to let them go because they came closer than anyone. You may still want to give them a chance, but you're hiding something from them. You hid parts of yourself from them. You may still be hiding things. Seven of Cups, there's all this confusion. Being very quiet, thinking about the past with the Six of Cups. Okay, your card, Sagittarius. The Seven of Swords, the Queen of Wands, the Magician, the Tower. Sag, you look like you're, I'm going to call you out. You look like you're playing a little game. You look like you're being very strategic here. Like, I think you might be trying to make this person jealous and make something happen. Some of you are just trying to manifest a Scorpio and you're doing it on the down low. You have no intention of giving up your independence. You love this attention. Guess what? So does he. You both match each other in charm, ego, creativity, passion, independence. Mm-hmm. 
There might be a little bit of an ego battle happening here, but this looks like I'm going to make them jealous. I want to try and see if I can make something happen here. Aries, Scorpio here. This is pretty darn calculated. You look like you know exactly what you're doing. I think you're trying to make something happen and change. You know, this may be a calculated plan that you think will work. Doesn't necessarily mean you're effing with this person or trying to hurt them. It does look like a bit of a game though. And I was like, what's the queen of wands? The six of wands and the three of cups. Yep, you're putting yourself out there. This is... I'm single, I'm amazing, I just put myself on a dating site, or I'm very successful. Some of you are very successful. Some of you maybe run your own business. I just saw someone sells uh, cosmetics or something, or sells, uh, they're part of, uh, they do direct sales for like health and wellness supplements, or maybe wine, maybe you sell wine, <laughs> alcohol, you're a rep of some kind as well. Some of you will really put yourselves out there you're seeking a lot of attention. So I'm reading this in one of two ways. I can either read it as this is a calculated maneuver on your part to intentionally make this person jealous, or you're just trying to, or another way I can interpret this is you really just want to get out of this situation and claim independence. You have a plan to make a sudden radical move or shift that will give you confidence that will lead to confidence and independence and in being able to date and spend more time with friends it's one or the other but be careful of playing a game well if you're playing a game if you're nodding your head saying yeah i am being calculated i am kind of trying to make them jealous it's working it's working to a degree but i see that someone may secretly want to have a baby uh, make sure you're open about that because it looks like you have a choice to make I definitely am going to do an extended to see what the potential, if there's two different people here, I want to see the potential with the King of Wands and the King of Cups. And that's what I'll do the extended about. And someone looks all stressed out because they're either married or they have to deal with family. This person may be saying, no, I, I'm, I'm angry. I'm not a player anymore. Or I'm not trying to be this way. Who, who the hell are you talking to? I'm not talking to anybody anymore. I'm in love with you now. But... Your advice right now is karma, the cycles of birth and birth and death, action and reaction compromise our universe. Your situation arose from past karmic connections and patterns. The opportunity to create good karma is now all past life influences working toward a final balance, except what is. So karma is being righted right now. And moon, you're wandering between a jubilant world of fantasy and reality. All is not as it seems. Enjoy the sensuality and the sensitivity that the current energy brings, yet the heightened emotions may not be stable. So avoid making decisions at this time. For any of you that follow human design, if you have emotional authority, this is not the time to make a decision. If you have an open heart center or open root chakra or spleen center, now is not the time for you to make a decision. You need to wait a couple weeks to decide how you really feel about something here because you're wandering between a world of fantasy and reality. All is not as it seems here. So get in touch with the emotions that the moon brings, but the, the emotions are not stable currently. So don't make any major decisions. Karma is going to be working itself out right now. Yeah. So I feel like you've maybe got two people and there's a distrust between the two of you. Be careful here because... They broke your heart, but you don't want to let them go. Watch out for trauma bonding, Stockholm syndrome, being obsessed with a person, like not being able to let them go. Like think about why you want to stay with a person that hurt you. Is it just to get back at them or something like that? And also, what are you hiding from them? Yeah. Wow, Sag, drama this week. So I am going to do an extended to see what's going on with these two kings and see if there can be trust and how everybody feels about you and what it is you really truly want from Spirit's perspective. If you feel like you need the extended, the link to that will be at the top of the description below. Also, the link to my website to schedule private readings and other services with me is down in the description below as well. I'm always listening to the universe for you, Sag. Take care. I love you guys. I'll see you next time.